Huawei's Pandu car model technology showcases its leading position in the fields of intelligence and electrification, sparking enthusiasm for cooperation from German companies such as Audi. Behind this cooperation, we can't help but ponder, do German automotive brands choose Huawei based on their understanding of the future direction of the automotive industry? How do they view the role of Huawei's technology in enhancing automotive performance and quality? How does this mode of cooperation promote the advancement of the global automotive industry? Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. In the wave of technology, the automotive industry is undergoing an unprecedented transformation. Intelligence and electrification, these two keywords are redefining the future of the automotive industry. In this process, Huawei's Pangu car model technology stands out, not only leading the industry's new trend but also attracting German automotive giants to extend olive branches of cooperation. In a notable event in September, Senior executives from German company Audi formed a delegation and collectively visited Huawei's headquarters in China. Although this visit maintained a considerable degree of secrecy, the specific details of the negotiations were not disclosed to the outside world. However, it can be speculated that the focus of the discussion between the two parties is likely related to cooperation on cutting-edge technology, the Pangu car model technology developed by Huawei. This technology is considered revolutionary because it is the world's first large-scale virtual model technology specifically designed for the automotive industry. Compared to traditional models, Pandu car model technology can simulate the performance and behavior of automobiles with higher precision and speed, representing a significant leap forward for automotive design, testing, and optimization processes. According to performance data released by Huawei, the performance of this model technology is not only satisfactory but also surpasses solutions provided by industry-renowned companies like NVIDIA in some aspects. The negotiation of cooperation between Huawei and Audi marks that Huawei's technological influence has far exceeded its traditional domain of smartphones. Huawei is gradually expanding its influence in the automotive industry with its strong research and development capabilities and innovative spirit. For the automotive industry, the cross-application of this technology may herald a revolution, while for Huawei, it is another important milestone in its diversification strategy. After the Munich Motor Show, German automakers realized a crucial reality. To establish a foothold in the global automotive industry, it is crucial to establish cooperative relationships with the world's largest automotive market, China. The Audi brand has felt the crisis of survival and is well aware that survival is fundamental. It does not want to become another Nokia in decline. Following the alliance between Volkswagen and Xpeng Motors, Audi also followed suit, partnering with SAIC Group to launch new models. Just before the release of the Mate 60, Audi announced a cooperation agreement with Huawei. The three giants of German luxury car manufacturers, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi, commonly referred to as BBA, constitute an important cornerstone of the German economy. Their strong performance not only represents the high level of German manufacturing but also their rise and fall have a significant impact on the German job market, export business, and overall economic prosperity. As an export-driven economy, Germany's economic health largely depends on the success of these industrial giants. In recent years, tensions between China and the United States have persisted, with the two countries engaging in a prolonged trade war and technological competition spanning four years on multiple levels. In this series of competitions, China has demonstrated extraordinary resilience and strength that American sanctions measures cannot easily shake. This fact undoubtedly provides insights for countries around the world, including Germany, to reevaluate the global trade landscape and international power dynamics. Although Germany relies on the presence of US troops for its military, it has shown a relatively independent stance in economic policy. Unlike Japan and South Korea, Germany has not become a complete vassal state of the United States. Instead, 
To ensure its own economic interests and long-term development, Germany has significantly moved closer to China economically. The huge potential of the Chinese market and the strengthening complementarity between the two economies have deepened Germany's dependence on China in many fields, especially the automotive industry, industrial machinery, and high-tech products, surpassing its dependence on the United States in some aspects. This shift is not a rash move but a strategic choice made by Germany after carefully weighing the global political and economic situation. Germany has realized that in the current complex international environment where multilateralism and protectionism coexist, relying solely on traditional Western allies may not be enough to safeguard its long-term economic interests and national security. Therefore, both the German government and the business community are actively seeking diversified market strategies to reduce reliance on a single market and seek new growth points in the global value chain. This also reflects Germany's anticipation of the future world order. As China's influence continues to grow on the global economic and political stage, Germany has apparently realized that it is better to go along with the trend of the times and seek new paths of common development with China than to stand in opposition to history. Despite facing opposition and pressure from the United States, Germany still insists on its economic sovereignty and strives to seek new partners and market opportunities globally to maintain its status as a world economic power. Finally, let me summarize today's video hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. Why do German automotive brands like Audi choose to cooperate with Huawei? The answer is actually not difficult to understand. German automobiles are renowned globally for their exquisite craftsmanship and outstanding quality, but in the face of the wave of intelligence and electrification, they also need to constantly seek new technological support to maintain competitiveness. Huawei, as a giant in the field of communications, has accumulated technology in areas such as 5G and AI, which enables it to empower the traditional automotive industry. Therefore, for German automotive brands, cooperation with Huawei not only provides support for cutting-edge technology but also accelerates their own transformation towards intelligence and electrification. This mode of cooperation has far-reaching implications for the global automotive industry. On the one hand, it promotes the cross-integration of technology and drives the innovative development of the automotive industry. On the other hand, it sets an example for other automakers and technology companies, encouraging more enterprises to collaborate to advance the industry. Looking to the future, we have reason to believe that intelligence and electrification will continue to be the main development directions of the automotive industry. With the continuous maturity of artificial intelligence technology and breakthroughs in battery technology, future cars will be more intelligent, environmentally friendly, and ultimately realize the vision of fully automated driving. In this process, cooperation between enterprises will become the norm, helping major brands share resources, reduce R&D costs, and accelerate the application and popularization of new technologies. As a seasoned blogger focusing on cutting-edge technology, I am full of anticipation and confidence in the development of Huawei's automotive technology. However, I also worry that in such cooperation, there may be issues of technological dependence. Do automakers need to protect their core technologies more? In addition, with the popularization of intelligent technology, we also need to pay more attention to data security and privacy protection. Therefore, I suggest that all parties should focus on protecting technological independence and strengthen the supervision of data security while cooperating, to ensure that technological development does not harm users' interests and security. May the development of Huawei's automotive technology bring more innovation and progress to the global automotive industry. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Today's video ends here, see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.